this year we're on season four episode eight and it's called the laws of inferno dynamics the last episode is really really good you know we see mac becoming the ghost rider uh for the first time i wasn't expecting him to become ghost rider at all that was like the last thing i would expect in the episode it was pretty crazy to see that honestly and of course you know uh robbie got the ghost rider out of him you know he made a deal with him and macker to go after you know his uncle that's like the whole big plan seeing ada that's another big one uh, from the last episode was just amazing seeing her you know make you know reading the book and then making you know the portal to get you know uh fitz and colson out seeing simmons you know helping the uh, the guy that's still stuck in like the phase of becoming inhuman you know I, the senator's uh either husband or boyfriend or whatever you know he uh she figured out how to get him out but then when she was about to you know get him out piece by piece the people took her away and i was like really like he she didn't even get a chance to even finish just can't wait to see that next episode see what uh, uh you know robbie and mac are gonna do you know to you know go get uh, you know, Robbie's uncle. It's gonna be just really interesting to even see. Anyway, guys, let's just check out this next episode. Eli, we got a problem. Cops, Shield, they're everywhere, man. Keep them busy. That's why I pay you. Has been paid yet? Mm -hmm. I've been paid. You want us to go to war with Shield? Hard day's work deserves a hard day's pay. <laughs> Hope you take diamonds. <laughs> You may have to cut the rest out of his lines. Shield wants to see what I'm creating? I'll show them. What about the science team? I'm talking about Ada specifically. I mean, she did, after all, bring you and Agent Fitz back from, well, wherever the hell you were. Ada's an android. She's... What did you just say? An android. Well, that's... Whew. Oh, why'd you say okay. something? I mean, oh my God! I was mildly attracted to her. That totally goes against the Sokovia Accords. Doesn't anyone remember Ultron? We really don't have much time. The point is, a good director needs to know what assets he has at his disposal. And in this case, I think Ada could be an asset. Go to well, Dr. Radcliffe's lab and get Ada. I want her on this mission. We'll dismantle her afterwards. Yo, I'm not wearing a mask, man. Uh, it's not a mask. It's a balaclava. I thought that was a dessert. <laughs> what? No, man. Never mind. <laughs> the director just wants you to keep a low profile. There's a lot of media out here. I don't answer to him. No, you don't. The guy you answer to is a lot more unforgiving. Yeah, well, you know a little something about that now, don't you? Sure you lies in there? Let's find out. Assault team, you have a go. Copy. Oh, man. Seeing this, we do. Oh, oh. I can't believe. Yeah, he's building a bigger one, bigger box. Don't touch that. You don't belong here, Robbie. Go home. We will. Once you're dead. That lid drops into place, it'll trigger super critical mass. Wait, time out. Fail safe, super critical mass. Are you guys talking about what I think you're talking about? Eli's made his way through the periodic table all the way to plutonium. Uh, and if matchstick messes with it? Yeah. Time for plan B. My own nephew? How? It's because of you. Did the drive by? They were trying to kill you. Never meant for any of this to happen, Robbie. I never wanted to hurt you. We trusted you, dude. You can create a city out of nothing. Or I can cover it in volcanic rock and become a god. You better be. Because the devil is coming for you. All due respect, sir. That's the most ridiculous idea I've heard all day, and it's been a long day. I understand your concern, but I'll be right there in the mix. Unstable radioactive substance. We'll put her in a hazmat suit. Not sure they're built for running. She's in no condition to go back into the I'm right field. here, and I can speak for myself. You're not fine, 
There's got to be a better plan. It's not your decision, Agent McKenzie. Maybe you should stick to optics and let someone else handle tactics. Mac, ever since I took over, you've been running around on this plane doing what you want, whatever you want. You mean saving lives, that kind of thing? I mean using fugitives and killers to do your dirty work. Keeping secrets from me? You want to talk about secrets? Fine. Let's do it. Let's start with the secret plan you cut with Senator Nadir. I told you about that. A ghost? Did you know she has an inhuman prisoner locked away? Like some sort of lab experiment? What's that phrase about glass houses? <laughs> They're getting on him. Inhuman. Why would you want to work with someone who hates us so much? I don't know why. Take a look in the mirror. Senator Nadir has photos of you in the prison with Reyes and that dead gangster he left behind, Santino Nagara, and she was gonna go public. You were trying to protect S.H.I.E.L.D. It's the job I was hired to do. Yeah, that was crazy. What? You can create water? The water's not a base cellar. It's a compound. Next step in the evolution of my power, creating life. You know, you might want to get a girlfriend first. <laughs> Sorry to be the one to break it to you, Eli, but you're not a god. Turns out, you're still just a petty thief. Yes, be careful. No gun on him, just this. Jim Coulson, you should be dead. I get that a lot. Never gets old, though, since I'm still here. Oh, I watch you get vaporized. Just the fact that you're asking how shows how little you know about what happened or what's about to. You think the magnet's gonna be strong enough to hold him down? The neodymium core is no ordinary magnet. It enabled the watchdog's EMP device to knock out the power in several cities. He's dying in there. We need to get him out. What does he mean, other place? Part of the law of conservation of mass? Of course I have. I have a damn PhD in engineering. All oh, right. Sorry. Then you know matter can't be created or destroyed. Except I've proven it's not true. I'm rewriting the laws of nature. Yeah, but you're drunk on power, or drinking your own Kool-Aid, or drunk on Powerade, I don't know. The point is, you're not <laughs> creating energy, Eli. You're stealing it. Stealing? From where? Remember when you thought I was dead? I was actually right in front of you, trapped between dimensions. Ask Robbie, he was there. That's true. You know how hard I had to work to get here? You call me a thief? That bomb goes off, everyone dies, you included. You're wrong! I can create life even after death. Can a petty thief do that? Mom isn't a fail safe, is it? It's your end game. Bobby, I need you to fight. Get out of that box. All teams, go hot. Nice. Uh, uh. Ooh! That is the coolest thing ever. It's so freaking cool! I won't bleed out. The synthetic blood is mostly for appearances. But you're in pain. I don't understand. Dr. Radcliffe programmed me to be a decoy. I need to exhibit the proper response to human sensations. Programmed to feel them. Including pain. Yes. Holy crap. Really? Awful. I'm so sorry, Ada. I gotta get outside. It's too much. I gotta get out. Daisy? <laughs> No! Why? Wyatt, please. Right. I lied to you. Quake was here the entire time, but she was not responsible for the danger here today. Agent Johnson saved us all. Go with it. You'll thank me later. Are you in on this? Recently. to a bad place in my head, I mean, and uh, I wanted to talk. I can't figure you out, Turtle Man. We flirt, we talk on the phone, we go to dinner, and then nothing. Worried about me, you want to protect me. 
Okay, back. Finally. Damn, took him long enough. Good bunch over there. Hmm. They came through with flying colors, didn't they? Including you and Ada. Enough to earn her a reprieve. Asked Agent Nathanson to accompany Ada back to your lab to help patch her up and to retrieve all of your research. Don't let me keep you from the festivities. I uh, should be done shortly. Huh. Oh my God. What the? Hello, Agent Nathanson. What? Ada. What are you doing? Know how this feels. What the heck? Ada, why? What are you doing? What is that? Who is it? My apologies, Agent May. What? Why? What is? What the, what's the point? Once we crack that bottle, it's open. Fine by me. There's nothing I'd rather be doing. No place I'd rather be. You? I'm right where I belong. Okay, guys, that was a very good episode, as always. But I was so confused. I mean, Ada killing someone, and then I thought she was so nice, and oh no, I just don't know. I don't know what to think. She has Agent May too. Is that even the real Agent May at all? I I, I, look, that's like the last thing I was even expecting, honestly. I was really thrown off by it, if that's how, that's how I feel right now. I just don't know. I'm like, I'm very confused on that part. I just, I, I really, I, I'm really interested in seeing more of it. I just, like, I just was never expecting that at all. I just wonder what Ada's really up to, why she has Agent May. What's the point of that? <laughs> that's really, really strange. Ghost Rider, uh, he's not gone. I don't think he's completely gone yet. You know, Robbie. Uh, he took uh, his uncle with him down to the other dimension. I think he will obviously come back, make his return. That would be really cool. I don't know how many more episodes we'll probably see him, but uh, he was really good in this episode. And seeing his uncle, you know, basically his uncle, uh, Eli, basically was stealing matter. And that's why it was causing all the earthquakes or whatever. So he wasn't creating matter. He was stealing it. That's really what it is. The director was pretty cool in this one. I like the suit. I like the outfit that he was wearing. He did approve of Ada, but... I think that's the reason why they didn't want to create androids like that because of that because they think on their own like that they I, I think that's probably the reason why he didn't want them around Mac and yo-yo finally kissed finally made you know made up they're pretty much together if you want to say uh, it's just I, that, I'm pretty sure that's why yo-yo was mad at Mac because he didn't make any moves it's like we did all this stuff and it's like what the heck's going on with you they finally are together pretty much guys please post your comments down below tell me what you think about this episode for ages of shield if you guys enjoy this reaction don't forget to like on the video please don't forget to sub to the channel and guys please check out the patreon page full episode will be on there guys stay focused stay motivated I'll see you next ages of shield